Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jet Collectibles, and today I have two 2021 Absolute Football Mega Boxes. So today is December 22nd. I'm not sure when I will post this video, but it seems that uh, the people stocked a little early this week. Usually it would be on a Friday or Thursday, kind of at Walmart's in my location. But today they stocked it early for the uh, holiday season. Usually they'll do it on Wednesday when it's uh, holiday time. So checked and looks like they had just stocked this afternoon. So I picked up a couple of these mega boxes. I haven't ripped any of these yet. Uh, the only absolute I've ripped are the hanger boxes. Um, like I said, I haven't seen any of these. Also because of some of the rumors about being able to search these with weighing them kind of steered away from them but since pretty much the display of all the other stuff looked untouched i felt like these were fr probably fairly safe um i feel like it'd probably be tough to weigh these in store so we'll see what we can do uh hopefully we can get a kaboom or something nice and you know, that's what people are trying to weigh them for the kabooms uh, supposedly they weigh a certain amount if they have one of those inside uh, I'm not sure if that's, that's true or not here's what you can find inside you can expect to get one autograph or memorabilia card per box hopefully uh, autographs wouldn't surprise me if we get some points with Panini sometimes that's how they do it so let's hop in here so this is only uh, four packs and ten cards per pack so only four packs in the box so we'll grab that one first, we'll grab this one second. So these are $59.99, so 60 bucks for these. Like I said, I typically don't love Absolute. Um, I don't try to rip a ton of it. And I uh, certainly didn't go after any on the secondary market uh, this year. But like I said, I, I saw these and thought, I'll give it one chance to pull something nice hunt for those kabooms so hey anyway, subscribe to the channel subscribe leave a thumbs up let me know what you think we start off here with a Jalen Phillips rookie Travis Etienne Jamar Jefferson looks like we've got a memorabilia of Michael Carter so just a plain rookie jersey of Michael Carter for the Jets Then we've got a red Rogers, George Kittle, red zone insert. And then we've got base. On to pack number two. Chauncey Golston, Quiddy Pay, Justin Fields, not a bad rookie there. Take that. Trevon Morig. Then we've got a red AJ Green. Then a red rookie Jalen Camp. Let's see with the other reds. And base. Just a few weeks away from playoff season. Playoffs. The end of the season. Looking forward to hopefully the Bucks making a run. And what we got here? So we do have an autograph. Okay. Diami Brown. Cool. And a red Herbert. And a stargazing Lamar. Insert. And base. Let me check the box here. Yeah, so it was my bad. One autograph and one memorabilia. So you do get both. That is my bad. Okay, cool. Well, that makes it a whole lot better, at least hopefully getting uh, both rather than getting stuck with just a jersey. Najee and Chupa Hubbard, Lamar, and then a red Sean Wade. Okay. So that'll do it for Mega Box One. So we got a couple inserts. We got uh, probably the best rookie is going to be that Justin Fields to start off. And Najee, 
so those are not too bad. And we'll get into our second arrow box here. Caleb Farley, Zach Wilson. And we've got a jersey of Simi Fihoko. Okay. Not sure how if that's correct, but DJ Moore, red, and then a red zone Dalvin Cook with the base and the rest of that. And these other rookies here. Unfortunately, the Bucks lost a couple guys here. Mike Evans, looks like he's gonna be done for the rest of this regular season. Leonard Fournette, Godwin's out with a torn ACL for the whole year. So that's uh, a bummer for me. We've got a red rookie of Michael Carter. Definitely hurts the Bucks' chances to make a late, uh, make a run deep into the playoffs, but a few weeks left to hopefully uh, let the other guys heal up and make a push. Elijah Moore, Anthony Schwartz, there's a guy, Auburn guy right there. And of course, of course, is it points or redemption? No, it's a uh, autograph, okay. Travis Etienne, not too bad. I mean, he's hurt, he's out for the year, but uh, I mean, definitely I feel like could have done worse there. I was expecting uh, something terrible. Which is pretty bad when that's just what you kind of come to expect with Panini, unfortunately, more than not. All right, we got our last pack here. Last chance in a possible kaboom. Trevor Lawrence, not bad. We'll take it, even though he's kind of struggled some this year. Now that Urban's gone, maybe things will turn around next year. Darius Tony, which is not too bad of a rookie there. JJ, red, and Frank Darby, red. And that'll do it. So no kaboom in either of these mega boxes. That's okay. So they're pretty tough to pull. I'm not sure the uh, kind of pull rates, but I think they are pretty long shot typically in these mega boxes. All right, so to recap here, we've got a couple of rookie jerseys, and we've got uh, an autograph of Diami Brown for the Washington football team receiver. And then we've got a uh, redemption here for Travis Etienne Jr. For the Jags. It's kind of a little, let me know what you think if you ripped any of these mega boxes. Um, I probably will stay away from the blasters. You know, the only reason I was going to probably rip any more absolute was if I found mega boxes. So that's why I picked these up. $60, you get an autograph, you get a jersey. Um, I mean, I definitely feel like you could probably do worse <laughs> with your 60 bucks. Um, so it's not too bad of a buy if you're wanting to have a kind of fun rip and get a couple hits for $60, uh, especially with the price of some hobby boxes now. But, um, you know, nothing huge. Pretty fun break. Enjoyed ripping. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If you ripped any of these. Uh, so kind of what have your pulls been like? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. And hope you have a great day.